Hello to the VC. So today on this episode, I thought it'd be fun to show albums that you have on all types of media. You have on cassette tape, CD, and vinyl. And whatever you got, 8-track, whatever, go all out. I'm mainly going to do the three, CD, tapes, and vinyl. So let's just start off with Make Them Die Slowly, White Zombie. Have it on CD, which is a good one to have. Um, CD's pretty plain. And now, a little side note. Oh, I think one of these had, I swear, um, I thought one of them had a misprint, but I'm tripping. Anyways, here it is on cassette tape. Make them die slowly. And then, lo and behold, on vinyl, which you usually don't see anywhere. Great album. This is when they were just starting to turn into White Zombie of the Beavis and Butthead era. So, next. Um, Stone Temple Pilots, Core. Got, I was fortunate enough, fortunate? Fortunate enough to see this tour. They were the opening band for Robert Plant. My some family friends were going to go see Robert Plant. They knew Stone Temple Pilots was opening it up. They knew me and my best friend were nerds. Me and my little crew of friends were nerds. So um, two of us got to go. So the crew of three. Anyways, got it on CD. Got it on cassette tape, which is the first time I got this was on cassette tape. And then also on vinyl. Now this one was kind of hard to get, but they reissued it finally this last year. This is, don't want to get too controversial here, but this is a Walmart version, which is pressed in Germany and came on red and black splatter. And the only one that came on this type of color was Walmart version. Now they sold that extremely quick because I think they got a re release around the Black Friday nonsense when records were only 15 bucks, so they just got bought out. And then they got put on eBay for like $70. Well, luckily one day I was in Walmart and just, uh, I was looking through the records and I found two of them, luckily. And I bought them both because there's no limit. And I had already ordered one before that, so now I have three and I also have another one. So anyways, what's up? Got plenty of Stone Temple Pilots. All three in the album. This album sounds really good, even though it's a, it's a Walmart. It's the enemy. And obviously, support local stores. Don't shop at Walmart. But if you shop at Walmart, that's totally fine. Nothing against that. All right. Red Hot Chili Peppers, Mother's Milk. This was the first album I ever got to listen to, which was on a, a live VHS uh, of them playing in Japan. And uh, really good album. Have it on CD. Have it on cassette tape. I'm pretty sure I got this when we were on tour somewhere. I've seen it every now and then on cassette tape. I think it even got reissued on cassette tape. But this is an original. Still in really good condition. I used to fall asleep to this album when I was a kid. And lo and behold, this is a vinyl. This is one of the older ones. I don't think it's a, an original pressing, but it is an old pressing. Super good album. Knock Me Down. Great album. A great song on that album. All right, and then last, Primus. Suck on this. What's up? This is an awesome album. It's a live album. Them playing in Berkeley. Live at the Berkeley Square. Here it is on cassette tape. And lo and behold, they finally reissued it on Record Store Day last year. They got two copies. Came with 3D glasses for the cover, really neat. Check it, check it. I'm using a different camera setup right now. Well, my selfie camera is all weird because the screen cover on my phone's messed up. So, anyways, I have no idea if this is in frame. If not, low budget vinyl channel. But yeah, I was stoked to get this because there was original ones going for like a hundred dollars, and um, which, if worse came to worse, maybe for like a Christmas present to myself or something, I would have gone all out. But when I heard they were reissuing it for Black, or it wasn't Black Friday, it was just Record Store Day. I think the October batch. I could be wrong though. Anyways, I waited in line from four in the morning till they opened, and I was able to get one. And I was and I ordered one online for normal price. It was super, super good. But I got all three, and uh, I got 
more. A lot of stuff I have also on cassette tape and vinyl. I just don't have the CD sometimes. Anyways, I'm big. I collect all three. Um, cassette tapes actually drum sound better in my opinion on cassette tapes still than than CD and vinyl. I like. I prefer the way the drums. Now it sucks that there is a lot of hiss, but if you can EQ it right and get it nice, there are certain albums that are really fun to listen to on cassette tape. Um, it's not better than vinyl, but it, technically you're getting the real analog because it is it is a real. So it's a miniature real to real. Even though some of them are recorded digitally, whatever doesn't matter. This bumps on cassette tape. If you got a decent cassette tape player, but yes. The, it's whatever you got. Listen to it and turn it up loud. All right, that's my episode for today. Just trying to keep it short and sweet. I didn't know I wasn't really going to film anything, but I figured, oh, you know what? I kind of had this on my mind. I thought it'd be cool to see what I have all on all types. So what do you got on CD, cassette tape, and a vinyl? Throw a comment or uh, maybe do your own video. Anyways, have a great day. Stay positive. Like and subscribe. And um, yeah, play lots of vinyl plates.